Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick video um, of some Crescent Root Studio uh, 28 millimeter uh, terrain buildings from their Series 3. Um, good products. This is actually the box that I ordered three building, two buildings and a shed. Uh, this is the box that it came in. Everything you can tear back down and it'll fit back inside this box. Um, so their kit <clears throat> looks great. It's, it's amazing actually. Amazing stuff. And I can't get the box open. But um, anyway, you can actually take this apart, the buildings, and put it back in the box. Um, you know, this is the size of it for scale size. There's a German half track bold action 28 millimeter and once you see the size of these buildings um, it'll actually bring home how convenient this would be for storage and how easy uh, they are to take apart and put back together so of the three buildings we will start with the smallest that I ordered which is a little shed uh, the doors open and close and I'll show you how those work um, when I take it apart. These are all out of the box ready. I didn't do any painting, uh, weathering, shading, nothing. Um, there's the roof, the shingles, the side. As you can see, very detailed. Lots of cracks. There's a window. Let me adjust the camera here just a little bit. Maybe. Here we go. Hopefully that stays. We'll find out. Okay. So let's take the roof off. There's the inside. Um, it's pretty plain on the inside. How the doors work is this is tape you open it um, close it can't really see there you can see like there's some notches that when you close the door it fits right into the to the wall uh, so it makes it a snug fit and just doesn't hang all over um, I'll give my opinions on the doors and everything at the end of this uh, but there's two mail tabs there's the female tab, or slots, I should say. So I'm not trying, that's how easy it fits in there. Um, I'm looking through the camera lens as I'm doing this, so uh, really simple. Um, this kit comes just as you see it. You don't have to assemble it. The only thing you put on is the roof, and the only thing you take off is the roof. So uh, you don't have to put the walls together. It, it comes that way um, in the mail. Uh, so that's a quick little, neat little shed. Um, let me grab my my uh, models. Just for a second, I'm gonna walk away. I thought I grabbed them, but I didn't. For scale, there's some 28 millimeter bolt action infantry. Let's move this back a little bit. So there you go. They look really nice with these. Um, with these buildings, all three of them. So um, here's that German half track as well with it next to it. So nice little shed. Uh, let's go to the next building. Let's move these guys out of the way. Next building is the restaurant. I'm gonna pull this camera out. Um, this is a rather big building. Let's put these guys back in front. It's a two-story building. Lots of windows. It's got the signage on there. I'll turn it to the side. Let's turn it to the back. It's got a little shed on outcropping on the back. There's the inside, it's kind of dark. There's a doorway here. You can put your figures in there. It comes attached to the building. So all you have to do is put the roof on. Once again, same type of slot system. 
There, I fit on there. There's a door. That door does not open. There's the side, other side. The doors in the front do open. And actually, the one on the back might open too. It might just be stuck. We'll look when we take it off. The roof comes in two sections. Take the roof off. This is inside. The walls on the inside are white. Um, I won't compare it to the competitors yet. We'll leave those comments for, for after I get done. The floors are detailed. They come in two sections. You just lift them out. This one I need to sand maybe a little bit. It's kind of a tight fit. Nothing extreme. Uh, this door does open on the back. It was just stuck. I'm not going to fiddle with it now. Um, I want to make sure I don't break it. And that would really kind of not make me happy. Um, these, this comes completely apart. So these four walls, you can see these little tabs in here. Um, these all slide apart. So this wall comes, this wall here is separate. This wall, this wall, this wall. So these all fold flat. This is flat with the addition. So that's how I could fit that, build, uh, all three buildings, that's how they fit in that box is these fold flat, or these build, bigger buildings fold flat. Um, I didn't get any of the pegs in the in the post, and I think that might have been a mistake. I'm going to reach out to Crescent Root and just see, because it looks like on their demonstration video, they have on their website, and I'll put a link on that in the description, that you get some metal pegs that fit in this hole here um, to keep the building from falling apart. Um, since it's brand new and I haven't really tore it apart several times, um, it's a tight fit, so I don't really need them at this point in time, but if I plan on taking them down, um, taking them apart for storage or tr transport, um, then I think I'm going to need them. Um, there is no bottom floor on those, so the floor you have is the second floor. Once again, these are the tabs and slots. And... It just fits like that. Uh, the second floor, got some figures in there. Looks pretty good, I think. Uh, so let's put this roof on as well here. There, and that's how it fits together. Not too bad. Um, I like the signage on it. Let's go to the next building, which is a actually several part buildings so I'm just gonna move the camera over to it so this is I don't know what you would describe as this building but it has little signs on the side once again I didn't do anything to these buildings this is how they came in the post the wall is separate so you can arrange it however I arranged it how they have it on the video on their website Signage on the back and the wall here, and I'll just take it apart now because this comes as a couple different sections. This does not come all the all apart like the restaurant does. So here's your wall. The L shape is pretty sturdy. It's not going to tip. The end is left with no detail because it's supposed to fit against the wall, oh, which is fine. So we'll set that aside. Uh, this straight wall um, doesn't sit too well um, on my gaming table. And it, they look really cool. So I think what I will do is maybe just make a small little base for the walls um, out of MDF. Something thin and nothing too wide. Just wide enough where it gives it a little more stability. Um, and once again, the end on this one... Um, there's no detail to it. It's just the wood. Same with the bottoms, which obviously is not needed. So this building comes in two parts. The roof does not come off of this, off of this one. Excuse me, sorry. Um, but there is the inside. The door does open. 
Now I'm going to push it open. I haven't really messed with these too much. I've been too busy with hunting season. So I haven't really had much time for hobby time. Um, and duck hunting instead. Kind of a torn between two hobbies, I guess. Um, so this is really, really nice kit. I, I don't know game game ability wise since it's all one and the roof just comes off. Um, I don't know, but I think you know if you got your wall, this is how they had it. I think if you just lift it off like that, you can get to it and then just slide it back in. I don't think it'll be too bad. I think it'll work okay. So let's set that aside. This is the other building or the other part of it. Uh, this door opens. It's got the tape system like the others. They do that with all their doors. The roof on this one does lift off. I thought it does. It's just being stubborn guys. There. So it does come off. You got your L-shaped floor in here. Um, this floor does come out. I'm not going to pull it out. Um, just for the simple fact, it kind of fit tight. I think the purpose is you can put it either direction. So you could have the hole over here or over here. Um, it fit a lot more tight having it go this way than it did that way. And I don't know if that's the way it's designed or if it's just I need to sand it a little bit to make it uh, versatile to switch it around, which shouldn't be a big deal. I'll show you from the bottom. It just has the wood, uh, wood supports on the side of it to hold the floor. Um, let's do a close-up of these signs. These signs came with it. Let's see if it'll zoom in. I thought the signs were really cool um, touch to it. Um, it just had so much flavor coming out of the box like that. So let's set this back up. Um, I'm not going to have it set up like they do on their website when I finally do put these buildings on the table. Um, and I'll show you why. And it's not a huge freaking deal, to be honest. It's just how I have my stuff based and I, for bold action. And I think you're going to run into that problem if you use the bases out of the box because the washers I use, fender washers, are I think exactly the same size as what you get in the box. And So if you want to put guys over the wall coming out of the door, it's a tight, tight fit. Um, it might not be much as big of issue uh, if I get that MDF base on there. Um, but, um, you know, you can you can put your walls different if you want. If you want to have a bigger open courtyard, you know, you can put your wall here and there. Or you can put it here. You know, it, there's several options just with those two wall sections. They do on their website sell the walls as a separate kit. Um, I can't remember right offhand um, what you get. But the walls are similar to this. Um, there's just different sections of it. Um, let's see. They also have they have a lot of neat stuff on there, guys. Um, they've got some more buildings that I haven't purchased yet because um, I will probably be ordering from them again. Uh, not probably. I will definitely be ordering from them again. Um, they actually have a road system. Uh, it's like cobblestone road with sidewalks, um, and they actually have base MDF bases that you can set their buildings on um, that have the curb, and, and then you you do like a puzzle piece where you put the road in the, in the bottom of it, and it, it's really cool. Just go check out their website. They have a video on there um, that's going to do you a lot more justice than this, but I just... I don't have a whole lot of subscribers, but to those of you guys out there that do subscribe and you're interested in, in bolt action or 28 millimeter um, gaming, check these guys out. The price um, isn't bad at all. Um, it's very comparable to, um, I would say it's very comparable to foreground. And, you know, it's all personal preference, foreground. We'll just put this over here for a size comparison. Um, I'm trying to juggle the camera in the buildings too, guys. Sorry. So here's your foreground stuff. And that's that's a row house, the end one end of it. Um, you know, so it... Actually, you know, that doesn't look too incredibly bad. 
together. Okay. Uh, the other building company that I had bought from, um, our, our Saracissa Saris Precisions, I did a video on this as well later. I can never say their name right. Uh, but that's the comparison of their farmhouse to that fits. Everything goes together well, size-wise. So, let's just set this up to go on the restaurant here while I give my opinions, I guess. So my opinions of it, of this, um, you know, of of these items are, you know, it's, it's good stuff. It's, um... It, it, the price was was fair. It's the same price, pretty close, I think, to foreground. Um, I love foreground um, buildings. The detail, outside and inside, are amazing. Um, you do put them together. It's a model kit, is what I would call it. Um, they're not hard to put together. It takes a little time. And my vi my camera timed out on me. I talked too long. Um, I was saying basically foregrounds um, stuff outside and inside is very highly detailed. It is a model kit, so it does take a little bit of time to put together. They're not difficult to put together, really. Um, definitely worth worth their money. Uh, Saracis of Precision, great stuff. They're a little cheaper. Uh, you're gonna have to do more work to get them up to you know putting them on the war game table table you're gonna have to paint them you're gonna have to uh, do a little bit of detailing probably to them as well um, the doors on Cirrus I'm not really impressed with um, because they're cardboard um, so it really limits and some of them are MDF I guess too but they're limited you either have them open or you have them closed mm. the other products you don't, or the three. Um, Crescent Root, awesome product. It, it, what I showed you today it came out of the box that way. I didn't put it together, with the exception of the restaurant, which was just slapping the four walls together. That's it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to glue anything. Um, you know, you put it together, you put the pins in, and you're good to go. And roofs come off, floors come off. Um, it would be cool, I guess, things I would like to see with Crescent Root would be a floor on the first floor, which would make it, comp which would put it on the same level as foreground because they have floors on their first floor. Um, and then also maybe some detail on the inside, but the walls on the inside are white. So that's okay with me. I I will sacrifice that. It doesn't have to be a model per se on the inside for me. Wargaming wise, it's all for me it's all about the outside. The inside is where you do some some gaming, not a whole lot probably. Um so I'll sacrifice that. Um that would just be to put it on, you know, the detail level of foreground. Um it's not uh, it, this is just awesome. Look, you know, the shingles on this, they have damage, um, cracks. It, it, Crescent Root. Go check them out. They're not paying me to do this. I don't get paid by anybody to do it. This is stuff that I found on the internet. Um, you know, doing shopping and, and just seeing other forums and, and stuff that advertisements. And I, I saw their stuff and I, I thought... I'm going to order it and see, and same with the foreground and the others. Everything that I show you guys is stuff that's paid out of my own wallet. Um, I don't advertise for other people because obviously I don't have the, subs the follower base for it, and I'm not asking that. I don't want that. I don't do a good enough job to justify doing that. Um, but definitely check them out. Uh, they have some 20 millimeter um, stuff as well. They do some resin kits. It's kind of based on, they have a season that they do it. So if you have some 20 millimeter um, itchings, they have some 20 millimeter World War II and modern stuff. Um, I have 20 millimeter wall, modern, the, get my teeth out, 20 millimeter modern gaming that I do as well. And um, 
uh, come time once I kind of get settled on my 28 millimeter World War II, um, I will definitely be checking them out for their 20 millimeter um, kit because it's really freaking cool too. So I think I've taken enough of your time. Um, I really need to paint. I, my weekends just are gone now with hunting and they'll be gone until January. So three months of hunting every weekend is going to really seriously set me back hobby time. So I'm going to have to find time on the weekdays to do this. And that's me whining and crying about it. But um, try to get this video posted up. Um, and so I can uh, share it with you guys. And, you know, if you see this video and you're not subscribed, uh, feel free to subscribe. I'm not going to force you to because I really don't put a lot of content out for you guys. And basically it's a lot of me rambling. But if you're interested in it... Um, you know, feel free to subscribe. If you have friends that might be interested in it, let them know as well. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have um, a good what's left of the summer. It's almost gone, and hopefully you guys get a heck of a lot more hobby time in than what I will be um, gaming-wise. My other hobby, I'll be getting tons of time in, and I'll be tired of it probably come January. Um, where I'll be itching to get some painting done and some gaming done. So, but anyway, um, I think that's it. Um, if you have comments or questions, or if you want to see more details about these buildings or the other ones that I've have, um, put a comment down below um, and let me know. And and I'll be glad to go over something, uh, show more detail, uh, whatever. You know, I. I've been in the hobby for a while, but I still consider myself a newbie because I I do everything on my own and what I see on the internet. Um, so I don't have the knowledge base to consider myself an experienced gamer or war gamer or hobbyist. Um, so I just I take it as I go, and a lot of stuff I learn on my own um, or from folks that have YouTube channels out there. Um, so anyway, enough of me rambling. Um, hope you're all are well. Take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. And um, happy hobby time. See you later.